So today is going to be a quickie. We're going to talk about the latest update when it comes to the C Sharp here CLI. And what I have open here right now is an old Docker container or a Docker container that I didn't update recently. And now I'm just going into my, I went into my little Maison of my near them. Then I see, okay, that the C Sharp here is an update, which is going from 0.36 to 101. And this update comes with some breaking changes that will cause our formatting not to work anymore. So when I go here and I go into the conform info, it tells me that everything is fine with C sharp here and the .NET C sharp here and everything and everything. And also when I now try to form it, it does form it, not a problem. But as soon as I do the update of the C sharp here, it will not work anymore. We will see it in a second. So today we're going to fix that. It's going to be a really quick one. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to do actually the actual update. All right, so save this one, go to Maison, and then do the update of that thing, right? I'll just update everything. Boom, boom, boom. Now we have the latest version of the Sharpie updated, and now it should not work anymore. What we find now is that after we updated C Sharp here, it became unavailable. .NET C Sharp here not working anymore. This is normal. So now the way to fix that is the following. We have our conform lure. In our conform lure, we have a section for, for CS files that loads the C sharp here. And this is the old way to do it, right? We have the command .NET C sharp here, doop -de -doop -de -doo, and this is what it says right here that it couldn't find the .NET C sharp here anymore, okay? So the way to fix that is this. I don't see a need to write an article here, so I just show the commit of the conform.lua of my new Vim configuration. I put the link in the description. So this is the changes we have to make. We're gonna kick out these lines. We're gonna introduce the new lines. Right, command C sharp here instead of .NET C sharp here, arguments format, and also put the two standard in option to true. And with these changes being made, it should work again. So let's try it out. Now we try it again. And now it worked, okay? So when I now go back into the conform info, we see that C sharp here is ready. And it's reading it right from the Mason file path, okay? And this is exactly what we wanna have. Again, really just those lines. Again, I will put the link in the description. What else do we have? We have some mappings, not, not really. No, 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 it's really about the conform lure. It is really just these lines. And just to give some credits for that, I just want to point out to the Reddit uh, com comment that pointed me to the solution of Mr. Mesdelex. Mr. Mesdelex, made a little bit bigger, Mr. Mesdelex. Uh, and he said, yes, figured it out, whatever, whatever. And he's using not conform, but something else. But the configuration is the same. You have the command C sharp here instead of dot net C sharp here. You have those arguments and you have the two standard in true. Okay, and he says, the common change to C Sharp, including format in ARCs, did the trick. Thank you very much, Mr. Mesdelex, and I wish you all a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.